Hey everyone, Montana Outdoorsman here, and I'm going to be showing you how to take off this type of, or style of clutch on your chainsaw off. Um, I know John Surts, Huskies, and uh, some some stills or steels have it, or John Red, if you want to be picky about names here. Um, they have this type of uh, uh, clutching system here, but uh, I'm going to show you how to take it off here. They make things that uh, you take the spark plug out and they make little like plugs that you screw in there and it stops the piston from coming up to top dead center. And uh, you can also tie a piece of paracord up in a knot, shove it in there and it'll stop that. And sometimes you can just, you can, uh, just do it with a hammer and a bar or a screwdriver or puncher, whatever you have to hit. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see if it comes off with the hammer and bar here. So uh, if you look here, if you look here, you have these two things that say off, and uh, there's little notches here for your bar to go in. But But uh, the, all, all clutches are reverse thread because they're spinning this way. And so when they spin this way, they get tighter. If they had regular threads, it just spin it off all the time and people probably wouldn't buy chainsaws because they'd be having to re -put, or put that back on every couple of seconds. But the reverse threads, which means a regular bolt, a regular bolt here, it turns it this way, this way to tighten lefty loosey righty tighty that's not the case it's a uh, uh, righty loosey lefty tighty on this but uh, yeah I'm going to show you, show you how to do this so you take your bar put it in that slot that I showed you and uh, give it a good 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 whack don't like beat on it there you go mine came off right there but your, yours might be a little harder if it's an older saw um, you you might need to have something in here but uh, I see a lot of people heating this up because they think there's thread lock on it but there isn't so this is your uh, basically clutch clutch basically your, yeah basically clutch what this does is when it rides in here the momentum uh, compresses these outwards and it squeezes on these outer walls here which drives your chain and uh, this is your rim sprocket or sprocket or drive sprocket I'm not sure I could just call it rim sprocket and that's what drives your chain here you can see it matches with the uh, shape of the links in there and uh, yeah uh, I know that they sell rim sprockets it's a smaller type one of these and they're only like seven dollars but you have to buy a new uh, assembly here but it's worth it in the long run because they're little round discs that you just set over these sprockets here. They're smaller, not this type. But uh, it's only like seven bucks to replace. While this one, this whole assembly with the bigger star pad, is uh, is like 30, 30 bucks. So the initial like thirty thirty eight dollars is what well or not the yeah is well worth it instead of having to spend thirty dollars every time you need to replace it you can just spend eight because this doesn't get ruined on the rim sprocket just the outer ring but uh, after you get those off you can take your clutch bearing out I, every time you take that off I'd probably replace it unless you take it off like every week for some god knows reason but uh, if you look on this sprocket here that you can see see here you can see these two little notches one on each side but make sure when you're putting it back on if you look here you got a little notch there and a little notch down here and what that does is that drives your chain and bar oil and uh, yeah so make make sure those notches get on that or else you won't be getting enough or, or you won't be getting any but I usually just take my sweatshirt if there's not any 
not a whole lot of crap in there. I've already cleaned it out. Usually there's quite a bit of crap in there. Black stuff. I can, this is a crappy sweatshirt, so I don't really care about it. You clean that out and put that back on. Make sure those little notches meet up with those other notches, which they do. Now, then I usually just do the same thing. Rub the outside here. Um, spray it with carb cleaner. And then reverse thread. Hold up. I'm being dumb here. Don't forget that. Kind of a key essential part. Put that on. Grease that. Put your rim sprocket on. Make sure it lines up. Your uh, clutch right here. Reverse threads. So it goes left. Left to tighten up. Tighten that up and uh, this this one you're gonna have to really I wouldn't suggest beating on beating on these because you might break it but uh, you kind of have to hit them this side you don't have to hit it very hard because um, it's, it'll tighten up when the chain runs so just give it a few good like love taps there you go tight Make sure this spins freely without this. Which it does. And basically that, that's just how you do it. And uh, down here, if you look, this little hole right here, you take a needle grease gun, shoot it in there, and that has that goes into that bearing in there and greases that. So if you want to grease that, you don't have to. You can just squirt it in there and you don't have to take this whole assembly off. But uh, if you have any questions, comment below. If you like the video, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.